hello student and welcome back for a lecture series so this is the second lecture on theory of belt conveyor system so in first lecture we was discussed at about the types so one by one briefly we are discussing now first two type has been discussed with advantage disadvantage and then how the belt can be useful where it is used application best okay so uh, in today's lecture we will discuss about the different other types remaining types okay start with the third type blanket belt conveyor uh, in figure you can see the blanket type of belt conveyor it consists of main belt conveyor and auxiliary belt conveyor which is shown over there the, the material on belt conveyor is prevented from sliding down by blanket belt which is actually uh, actuated as a auxiliary belt conveyor the belt conveyor which is made of a rubber impregnated construction or welded chain sections which can offer the high flexibility on both longitudinal as well as transverse in directions uh, this type of blank conveyors are normally used with the angle of 45 degree to 60 degree because as soon as the angle 45 degree increases the material slide down uh, slides in a downward direction so to avoid this we are, uh, uh, provide a support by help of blank conveyor okay i think uh, ex uh, the diagram is self explanatory which can shows you and gives you an idea how the exactly belt conveyor runs uh, in the left side uh, we have shown a simple example of that blanket belt conveyor uh, basic advantage of the blanket belt conveyor is the flat belt and truffing belt conveyor cannot be used uh the inclination more than the 35 if the belt inclination is more the material will slide in a downward direction and and that position or you can say in that condition we are using blanket belt conveyors basic limitation the blanket belt conveyor have low volume capacity so it could not be transmitted a very high volume so where the limited volume is to be transferred but the angle of inclination is greater than 35 degree and less than 60 degree where at that conditions we are using a blanket conveyor over there okay it is also shown a blanket conveyor in a proper manner with all constructions given over here previously all before whatever uh, two types we have seen that is a trough conveyor and belt conveyor that couldn't be transmit material more than 35 degree next one oven wire belt conveyors in a over wire belt conveyors it consists of mesh belt oven from the stainless steel or mild steel wires the patch uh, what you can say uh, format or you can say a uh, formation of the wire or meshing of the wire you can see uh, in the right side and in actual picture how uh, actual practices how it is made you can see in the left side as 
air and liquid can be readily passed through the mesh the own wire belt conveyor are used to carry the material through the oven quenching baths wash washing plants drying plants painting plants so where the material uh, need to be uh, uh, conditions for example could be the oily one medical condition machine building condition so with that uh, uh, we will consider a simple example if uh, any material has tempered in a particular temperature in a oil bath now we are just remove uh, we can just uh, remove that material from that oil bath and put on the uh, this wire oven wire belt conveyor so that the properly oil gets strained and and similar same time it is get transmitted so both applications or we can say both functions we can reach <clears throat> the normally uh, materials used are stainless steel uh, then ss316 l ss360 ss304 ss304 4 l etc those are the stainless steel alloys and stainless steel types meshing opens up to 0.03 mm to 10 mm based on the type and then diameter of wire is made from 0.01 mm to 1.2 mm based on the request and the width is up to 6 meter so the maximum length of the belt conveyor oven wire belt conveyor or you can say this type of conveyors are having maximum width is up to the six meter so the combinations how the mesh can be made uh, there are six combinations which are shown over here a five held a wave <coughs> a wave mesh dutch mesh tweeting uh, twilled mesh then twill touch mesh plane and reverse touch mesh so these are the measures uh, or you can say knitting style of those uh, wire oven wire next one type is a chain conveyor okay so in the construction as you seen uh, we have various uh, pictures of the particular chain attachment plus it can shows how the roller chains type how can use here the actual in practices how we can use okay so in chain conveyor it consists of an endless chain running over the drive and head sprocket and the tail sprocket the driver's packet is coupled with the driving unit the load carrying stand of the chain is supported on the load carrying track while the returning stand of the chain is supported by returning tracks so rather than a uh, roller we can say track over here the basic advantage of this uh, chain conveyors it uh, displays low stretchability under the high load condition then it can take an uh, impact load which are unsuitable for the belt conveyor it can transport large load it can use at an elevated temperature and it is not possible to sleep in a chain conveyors so these advantage or these has uh, some uh, extra additional things which we can done in a chain conveyor rather than the belt conveyor but it has uh, some limitations it can operate or you can say operation of the chain conveyors required careful attention and regular lubrication as it is in a continuous friction 
so we need to properly provide the lubrication so that the life of chain get increase also the wear can be reduced and if the chain falls the system get blocked so we have to uh, properly care we have to take care it should be uh, work smoothly uh, also the chain at a high operating speed the wear is high hence <coughs> the chain conveyor at run maximum up to the 0 0.6 to the 1 meter per second velocity so that is the maximum speed which can be run okay next one apron type of uh, conveyor actually it look like a chain conveyor but here in an apron conveyor consists of a pair of parallel endless roller chain running on the tracks supported by the frame the overlap metal plates are attached to the chain to form a continuous moving bed now this type of uh, apron chain conveyors are normally used to construct a series of parallel endless plate which is running on the track as we discussed <coughs> these are used uh, to transmit a heavy lump size or a big size uh, heavy load or abrasive particles or uh, hot material it is completely close the slat flat, uh, floor over the uh, total lifespan no one of uh, sorry no opening of the slat when uh, it moving from the driving wheels it required short pitch to reduce the polygonal effect so i ratherly saying these things uh, i can simply told you that it is the uh, it the width of the chain conveyor is very less so to overcome that these apron types of conveyors are used so you just observe or compare the constructional details so you can easily understood uh, in the segment wait a minute. in this segment you can see that the belt chain width of the apron or you can say width of the tracks are very less but in this condition in apron type if you look at it properly the length of the plate is get increased so that is whatever disadvantage we find about the width that can be overcome over here and because of this mechanical arrangement or you can say lots of material metals are uh, collaborated over here the lower construction height because of this uh, diameter could be a smaller one because it should have to uh, transmit a low high power uh, or you can say rather than high power i can say high weighted object or materials that could be uh, transmitted then it is robust in construction and very simple uh, we are normally consider or take care about the abrasive or you can say we are because of uh, the abrasive uh, materials then corrosion and dirty environment can be the uh, it can be the uh, what you can say cause to clawed or you can say seize the links okay so we will have to take care of that uh, this kind of uh, conveyors are working with the speed of 0 0.35 
to 0.4 meter per second okay now last one the screw conveyor the construction is very easy and it's uh, self explanatory uh, in the construction you can say uh, see it consists of a screw or a worm in the form of helix rotate through on the tube or inside the tube the material is moving along the axial direction due to the action of the screw or because of that helix it is fully bladed screw which is used maximum conveying capacity the basic advantage of such type of a screw conveyor it can handle a hot as well as wet materials it can transmit material from fine powder to animal feed coal to slurry so variety of material you can transmit from over here you can say a powder form semi solid form <coughs> or basic solid form okay so but yeah it have a quite limitations it uh, having a low volume capacity it couldn't be in a or you can say a screw conveyor couldn't be designed for high value capacity so it is this is a big disadvantage of this type of conveyor mechanism if we comparison with the belt and conveyor chain uh, it is not suitable for long distances but it is very much suitable for where the material is hot or it could be the semi solid one or it could be the uh, grain one so if it, in the lower distances if it is transmit we need to transmit such type of variety then we can suggest for screw conveyor which can be a very good solution okay now <clears throat> discussing the main components of the belt conveyor so first one is a conveyor belt okay whenever you are going to choose any conveyor belt what are the main requirements that should be the fulfilled by that conveyor belt so few uh, good requirements of the good belt conveyor are listed over here adequate strength low mass per unit length then good longitudinal and lateral flexibility high wear resistance fire resistance freedom from place separation low plastic and permanent elongation low water absorption least affected by the moisture so these are few important requirements if it it should not have an adequate strength it can be easily stretched so it could be the most important thing if the low if the mass per unit length is a high then the weight self weight of the belt conveyor get increased and because of that the bending can be occurred in the belt then good longitudinal and lateral uh, flexibility so it can withstand it can properly acquire the shape in case of uh, a truffing idler or truffing belt conveyor system it should have a high resistance so that the strength will be good fire resistance it couldn't be easily get fired so jaise agar aap log if you are conveying the hot material or a semi hot uh, no for hot metal we are using oven type so rather than if any sudden action is occurred and due to that fire is uh, unfortunately the fire occurred over there so it should not be easily fired so the fire resistance property should be there and in a few cases because of friction the metal get uh, quietly hot 
at few conditions uh, when we transmit the cement because of the process the cement powders are initial stage are quite hot so in such cases it should not be uh, lose this their properties because of this change in temperature variation then freedom from place separation if the place separation offers the layers of uh, belt get uh, weird or you can say removed so slicing of the layers that is called as a play uh, it could not be done if it is doing then each and every time the upper layer get worn out and it can be start removing and it, it is very harmful for the belt's life long low elasticity and permanent elongation if the low elasticity is more than the stretching of the belt kit increase then we have to take care every time about the tension so this maintenance can get uh, increase in time so it is not good for the health low water absorption it couldn't be absorbed water while uh, objects might be having some uh, moisture moisture takes place with them least affected by the moisture as uh, as i discussed here over here because of the water or moisture it could not be affected so this guy these are the good requirements for the belt convey the basic construction of a belt if you look out over here so this can be made uh, with the number of plays okay the belt company uh, it can be made uh, with the different layers so inside uh, you can place a uh, steel wire okay here you can look in this diagram there are three covers are uh, shown over here top cover bottom cover and middle cover middle cover are wrap cords or weld cords so these are made of made up of stainless steel uh, which provides the faster holding impact resistance and tear resistance because here it have a high tensile load and very uh, good uh, impact load so such in such manner also we can construct a belt so here it can be shows a very uh, old method or can say a uh, normally how we can construct a uh, belt so inside the steel cords are placed it uh, or you can say in the mid region over the rubber core is placed after the rubber core you can find the top rubber core and after that we can uh, coating uh, with the uh, softer material so the cores and it uh, as the steel rods are placed in core it can be increase the strength capacity after that we are uh, covering with the rubber so that the flexibility get managed and after that we can cover it with the uh, top rubber uh, which is rather than such a way that uh, manufactured in such a way that so it can uh, gain a proper friction between belt and the pulley okay so the things how we can manufacture is shown over here next uh, about the build, build materials so the built materials uh, are generally polyamide nbr polyester teflon calver pvc tpu silicon epmd and cotton okay uh, so the basic plus and minuses are shown over so you can see the advantages and disadvantages so based on this plus and minuses uh, we can choose the proper built material for a particular application 
next one are the main component second component of the main system is a conveyor pulleys now when we say a conveyor pulleys pulleys the main thing of pulleys to support and transmit or provide the power to the belt so that the conveying action takes place so there are three type of pulleys are used <coughs> first one is a driving pulley it can be a head and tail pulley second one is a snuff pulley and third one is a idler pulley or idlers so the driving pulleys types we can see it could be the straight face convex crown concave crown straight tapered with the center flat and straight taper type so these are the some combinations of the driving pulley that is a crown face pulley so these uh, various say, shapes has been made because of only the based on the type of material which could, could be can be conveyed so if we are using straight or you can say a uh, straight face then there is a possibility of slipping of the material or a belt can be run out from its main location so that the crown shape is provided over there next one is a wing type of pulley such type of pulleys are light in weight and normally used in uh, applications where the material or uh, belts uh, could be <coughs> uh, could be light in weight so the material could be uh, transmitted which is light in weight in that locations we are using such type of uh, wings type of pulleys then snuff pulley it is very important because it uh, snuff pulleys are normally uh, plays a very important role uh, these are necessary to change the direction of belt from the uh, uh, reasons few reasons are there so that we can use the snap pulley over there first to change the direction of the belt from various reasons that is shown first increasing the angle of lap on the driving or tail pulley then changing the path of carrying the run of the belt it facilitates to loading and unloading operation uh, then it can be changed the path of a return run on the plate so because of these advantages or reasons we are using snap pulley uh, for snap pulley for uh, uh, in a belt conveyor system then next one is idler what is the important use of idler it is used to support a conveyor belt along with the load on upper run. It is used to support belt on lower run. It supports the belt at loading point with the minimum wear. It is used to align belt on the pulley. It gives a troughing profile to the belt and it can change the shape of run from trough to the flat so these are and in some cases the troughed belt conveyor uh, the belt has a trough profile on the upper run while uh, that uh, in lower run it could be the flat one so that can be changed in a shape can be easily done with the help of these idlers so type of idler roller type of idler then roller idler uh, with the roller bearing and ball bearing then rubber covered idler impact idler disc type of idler and spring idler so first one uh, 
roller type of idler with the ball bearing uh, the roller type of uh, idler you can see in the figure then uh, few industrial things i have shown over here then uh, which type of bearing not really normally deep blue ball bearing is used over there it is used for light duty application next one is a roller type roller type idler with the roller bearing it it shows uh, the as the roller bearing we are using the capacity or load carrying capacity get increased so it is used for heavy duty conditions or to transmit the heavy duty load second and third one is a rubber coated idlers so these rubber coated idlers are thin rubber sleeves is put on the rubber uh, on the roller a thin rubber sleeves gives an a protection to the roller against the abrasive wear these kind of rubber conveyor idlers are used to convey where the abrasive load has to be transferred so it could be uh, the give protection to the roller so that's why the rubber coating has been done then fourth type is a impact roller the impact idlers or you can say impact uh, impact idlers are thick rubber disc is a fitted on the smooth roller then the impact idlers are fitted at the long uh, is fitted at the loading point to cushion the impact of heavy lumps and to give the protection to the belt and bearing the impact idler are uh, used to carry the roller instead of normal steel roller as the loading point of view in the steel roller they are rubber rings assembled and side by side to absorb the weight and impact of the material fall on from the belt it can be uh, take care of that at the same time impact roller reduces the shock and vibration to the free uh, steel structure basic features are it can absorb the weight and shock and high loading capacity then this type in the this type uh, these are used to avoid the built up of material on a smooth roller and clean the blend so construction is sh as shown in figure okay so it reduces the weight of the roller and it can transmit a very low weight <clears throat> next one is a spring idlers in the spring idlers are normally used with the steel banded conveyors it provides uh, it provide a trough to the belt and increase the load carrying capacity to 1.5 to 2 times of the flat band so it is it is used to increase the capacity of the flat belt roller because it provides some troughing action and which can uh, which which is called which can uh, create to increase in load carrying capacity to 1.5 times or to twice of the initial capacity so and uh, next one some tensioning devices okay so these are very important devices in a basically uh, tensioning devices or you can see uh, take up systems or belt take up devices these are used normally to maintain the tension between pulley uh, between two pulleys okay so ideal tensioner devices has in, having some feature these are it should be capable to apply equal tension across the width of the belt <clears throat> it should apply tension gradually in the event of load 
on the belt varying the applied tension should be capable of corresponding increase or decreasing the actual value of applied tension should be known thus the preventing or overstressing of the belt can be maintained uh, or it can prevent from that overstressing it should automatically take up by slack or a stretch in the building so it could be the automatic one so there are four types <coughs> screw type take up vertical gravity take up horizontal gravity take up and winch operated take up system so the tensioning devices as we discuss the screw take up automatically in a tensioning there is a vertical and horizontal gravity uh, we will discuss these two types so screw take up tensioning system as shown in figure okay so <clears throat> the take up device is installed with the tail pulley which also act as a take up tail pulley the screw type take up consists of two bearing houses supported by the shaft and capable of sliding in a fixed guides there are two number of guides which is shown in figure the bearing houses are connected with these screws which is shown in figure by rotating these screws the bearing houses can be made to be slide in the fixed guides thereby the adjusting the belt tension the screw type of take up are compact in arrangement however in a such take up uh, required a careful attention while they carrying out the adjustment so as to avoid the excessive tension in the belt hence in a screw type of take up system we are used only in a shorter length conveyor system next one automatic take up in that a uh, vertical gravity take up system um the figure shows you the vertical one over here you can look at the vertical take up system in actual practice how it look like is shown over here in a vertical <coughs> gravity take up it consists of uh, two belt pulleys a take up pulley and second one is a dead weight the device is located in the place where the belt tension is minimum or on the lower run of the belt near to the tail pulley the belt tensions can be adjusted by applying the dead weight on the take up pulley the vertical gravity type take ups are highly reliable and maintenance free the exact requirement of belt tension can be created by putting the appropriate dead weights as shown in figure here you can put the dead weights these are the dead weights you can look at over here this is a dead weight so appropriate dead weight you can apply and maintain the tension it is very simple in construction and as well as it's near about maintenance free last type uh, or you can say second type of uh, take up system is a horizontal gravity take up the construction is as shown in figure it consists of tail pulley mounted on the pulley trawler trolley having four flanged wheels the pulley trolley which is loaded by the dead weight uh, through the rope moves along the, the guide frame as the take up device moves the horizontal direction it knows the horizontal gravity take up system the horizontal gravity take up are used where the conveyor setup doesn't have necessary headroom and to install a vertical take up system because uh, to install the vertical setup you need a huge area so with whenever the this area constraint is uh, play in a role at that time you can use a horizontal gravity take up system belt next point is a belt cleaning so it's a very important issue whenever the material is conveying over the belt 
so the dust particles and the material smart material is always exist over the or you can say stick over the belt and which is very important to clean these uh, belt uh, dust in uh, every segment or it is very important otherwise it uh, provides a dent mark or uh, it can be um, a reason to clot the machine okay so these uh, there are three type of uh, uh, cleaners are normally used to clean uh, the conveyor so there are primary secondary cleaners which is mounted as you seen in the figure and last one is a brush type of a belt cleaner is used so that uh, it can clean it properly okay in primary cleaner uh, it is a waste type so that a basic rough materials can be removed in secondary cleaner it is uh, properly attached with the uh, belt so it can it look like a shaving process so it removes all the dents uh, dirt and which is stuck or which is stick on the belt uh, top run so it can be moved and still it if anything is remaining that can be removed by the brush okay so thank you very much for joining the uh, theory if you have any doubt related to the theory you can feel free to contact me anytime okay so thank you thank you very much for this uh, lecture